yeah, without taking uh, much time, um, I'll hand over the uh, the microphone to uh, Mr. Rema to to say something about his excitement uh, to be in the run and uh, anything else he would like to say. Hey, good day, everybody. Um, I go by the name Rema. And um, I want to say thank you guys for coming out this afternoon. Um, it's a great privilege to be here. Um, so far, it's been amazing. It's been welcoming. I'm feeling the energy. I'm loving the vibe. I'm loving the frequency. And I just can't wait to connect with the fans and have a great show. But yeah. Uh, thank you so much. I have uh, Mr. Kivumbi, who would also to share a word with you guys. Um, I want to thank you all for pulling up uh, at this press conference and yeah, I hope to see you tomorrow. Well, um, anything that promotes Africa, whatever that sells the African dream, our legacies, our history, is something I personally and Rema believes in. It's been a nice time in Rwanda, we've seen some nice places, we've heard some nice music. Um, we really look forward to having a great time with our fans and the whole of Rwanda tomorrow. Thank you. Next thing we're going to do is just to take a few questions, uh, like five, and then it will be the end of the press conference. I'll request Mr. Guillaume. Rima, Rima you started music at a young age. Like what, what would you advise for an artist to do so that they can get to your level? Because for us, international recognition is still, is still in our dreams. What would you advise them to get international recognition the one you got at a young age, just in a small time? Mm -hmm. The advice I'll give to any artist right now, first of all, I'll say I'm not perfect enough to know everything, but I would say just be you, be original, um, you know, have a good team. Um, you don't have to be much. You just have to be effective. Um, you know, get to express love. You know, unity amongst artists. You know, make make the voice from the region louder. You know, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, believe in God. You know, keep God close, and you know, the grace will push your music. And that's all. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. My name is David. I'm working at Lema. Welcome at Chigalia Lena Blada. So the first question, uh, I can say you have 21 years old. So do you think make you a great musician at your age? Sorry, ask the question again. Sorry. Can you repeat the question? Yes, sir. I was asking you that uh, which qualities do you think make you a great musician at your age? Um, my originality, um, my swag, um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. That's that's part of my originality. You know, I'm just me. You know, I do my thing. Um, you know, my vision, my vision not just for myself, but for the new generation of artists coming out of Africa. Um, you know, I feel like I'm chosen, you know, I'm chosen for this, and everything just kind of connects. Um, the right music meeting the right time um, is literally, has literally led to all of this. Um, all in all, I give God the glory. I won't say it's all by my power, not by my might, you know, you understand? Um, but you know, it's all good. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Second question uh, is uh, like uh, recently, uh, Barack Obama and his uh, wife, like Obama, uh, have taken a test to your song and put on uh, on their summer playlist. So, uh, what was your perception on that time? <laughs> yeah. Um, that day, I was just, I just, I just landed from uh, Kenya, and. Um, you know, I saw it all over the social media and I was really excited, to be honest. Um, but deep in my heart, you know, I was just, you know, giving thanks to God. Um, that's huge. That's really huge. 
you know, knowing it's my first year and being recognized, it literally just showed how far my music has traveled, you know? Um, to have the, the ex-president of America vibe into my record, that really shows how effective my music is, how different, how special my music is. And it just kind of added to my confidence, so that, you know? Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. All right, thank you, in Rwanda. You're going to perform uh, during the, your audience in Rwanda. Uh, what are you expecting from your audience uh, preparing your show tomorrow? Thank you. Um, I heard it's already sold out show, so I expect nothing but love, energy, you know. Um, I'm going to put my all on the stage. I just want to get to connect with my fans out here. I don't know when next I'm coming back, but I will make it worthwhile. Um, I want it to be an experience. I want it to be more than a performance. You know, I want to get to connect with every single person that's going to be in the arena tomorrow, you know? Um, yeah, yeah, I want to... I want to I wanna hear the people sing my song as well, you know? I just want to embrace the love I can get out here, and that's all. Yeah, yeah. As a very common man, the hands of you, which are of course, Kuriki Vom, Nichin, the Taramo, Nindi Gahundi Comet, and Kuakun Zibawe, and you to go to Jesakuri Murata as a good thing. Thank you so much. Uh, in regarding to preparation, we, we've been rehearsing, we've been getting ready for the show, and today we are having our last rehearsals. And we just expect to do a job and give the people the show. Yep. My name is Pepe. I work for KC2. I have two questions. Uh, the first goes to also to Kivumbi. Uh, Kivumbi, uh, you're sitting with Rema and also like the guys are performing. And uh, also the run music to these guys. Like uh, Rema has a team. I mean like also the run music to these guys, like uh, Rema has a team, I mean like from you, and to also to represent us, the Ronan music. Um, what I'm doing to get ready for the show is uh, rehearse. That's one thing that I'm doing, and uh, it's a pleasure to be here, it's a pleasure to represent, it's a pleasure to perform for Ronan's again. I feel like Ronan's know what type of show we put on, so they're gonna come expecting that and we're gonna try to deliver that too. Yeah. So uh, my second goes to Rema. Uh, recently, the past Omale was here last week. Uh, the, yo, do you guys talk? Like, do you guys like, like, what did they tell you about Rwanda? Like, what you can expect? Like, uh, in Rwanda, we, we have fun. They tell you the crowd about Rwanda. Like, do you anything of like a feedback coming from the Nigerian artists who have been here? Like, do you know anything about that? And they say, um, yeah, I talk to, I talk to every artist, you know, every Nigerian artist. Um, I do actually have a relationship with every one of them. But if there's someone I remember talking about um, Rwanda is um, Mr. Easy. He told me about Rwanda. Um, he told me about, you know, the love, how much love is out here. Um, how much they love Nigerian music as well. Um, you know, how good of it to make an investment in such a place. Um, um, you know, it's all earthy, it's like an earthy vibe out here. Everywhere is green, you know, the air is beautiful, like, you know, it's the whole vibe out here. Um, it's nothing but good things, yeah? Nothing but good things I heard about Rwanda, amazing stuff. And, you know, my expectations are high already. Some of my expectations have been met. Um, but tomorrow we'll wrap up and or finalize my expectation. Yeah, that's it. All right, so you've been here for some, uh, some few days, and I want to... Um, yesterday I was at the King's Museum, and I, I literally learned a lot about... I learned a certain, thing, certain things about, you know, the whole background. Um, sorry, it's really noisy. I don't know if you hear me. Yeah, yeah, uh, I can hear you. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was at the King's Museum yesterday and, you know, I learned a lot when I was there. Um, you know, uh, we got a quick brief on, on the history of Rwanda and how it, 
how it literally spread out over time, um, the different kings over time. Um, yeah, we had a tour around this this house and all. And yeah, I learned a lot. And so far, so far, I would say, you know, the the guys that saw playing the flutes with the cattles at, at the King's Museum was, was a very amazing experience, to be honest. Yeah. Okay, all right. Thank you so much. Any other uh, you visit yesterday? Uh, what else are you looking forward to in Rwanda? And secondly, what's your message to your fans? Uh, what, uh, what, like a, a quick, a quick message to your fans for? Okay. Um, yes, I already said I'm expecting nothing but love, nothing but energy. I just want to connect with everyone that's out here, most especially the youth. You know, the young people who rock with me, the young people who who buy my music, who support me over time. Yeah, yeah, I just want to make them feel special as well because they are actually special, you know. Um, if I'm to send a message to my fans right now, I just want to say thank you for the love, for the support. Like, since my first EP, thank you for rocking with me from the beginning. Um, thank you for believing in my vision. Thank you for, for accepting my difference. Um, and yeah, that's it. Thank you. Um, I'd like to thank uh, everyone and especially our sponsors, mostly uh, Bank of Kigali, Visit uh, And you guys, thank you so much for keep um, music and basketball in general. And uh, see you.